So we got a whole lot of impact or today. So what's going on, everybody? This is Super Robot. Today we are going to talk about some records, starting with the Transformers Legacy Wreck and Rule Collection, Comic Universe Impactor, and Spindle Two Pack. Of course, the Impactor is a retool of the Siege Impactor, which has already been done quite a few times. Also, it's the uh, fossilized Peliotrex with new parts. Since we supposed to become the skeleton of a powerful Spinosaurus. I don't know. I don't really do those things, but uh, to get this guy, we got to spend $44.99 to get him and them together, which, to be honest with you, he doesn't look bad, but these pictures, well, they don't do it quite justice. They got these psychedelic backgrounds on the other ones. Now, me personally, I prefer that three-pack, Amazon three-pack impactor because he has the Spartan head, and I love to look at that, but this one, I'll probably pick it up just for curiosity because it is the Wreckers. Um, so, without further ado, let's get into the history of Impactor in the modern era. So, first things first, we got the Transformers Official Collector Club. Impactor he came in a two pack. I think I can't remember. It was expensive. If you didn't get them, you just butt out. Um, but he uses the Rook Mold, which the Rook Mold is solid um, for Combining Wars. Hollow, but solid at the same time, and it does look good. And the tank mode that it turns into is even better. I like that. But then we got Siege Impactor. Now, I do own Siege Impactor. Yes, I own him, but I don't like the head sculpt. And that head sculpt looks so weird. It looks like he's got a pie face. And maybe that's the face he had before. I don't know, because I don't really do the IDW comic books, so don't ask me about him. The answer to that question is no. Then we got this Netflix repaint, which is a little more subdued. And to me, kind of matches G1 as, not G1, but it matches the comics, as well as matches the MMC version in paint color scheme wise but uh, the MMC is still my favorite and so, <laughs> now we're gonna go to another one this is what's one of my favorites because uh, these guys actually formed with another version of Impactor from the uh, Fall of Cybertron series and they formed the big robot that was basically just a recolor of the Bruticus but these came with extra weapons that the other original Fall of Cybertron units did not come with it's a pretty good set, but it's still not Impactor. Then we got the one from the three pack where he's a Decepticon. He's got the, um, those, uh, like I think construction symbols. I, like I say, again, I don't know them and I don't really care. So don't come and correct me because it's just a toy to me. I'm not going to go all deep into a character. Not really care about, but I love the look of them. And this one has the Spartan head that I like, you know, and I like, this is the one I have on my shelf. So just letting you know, this is my favorite Impactor so far. And of course, the one that I never wish I sold off, which was the MMC Impactor. This toy is absolutely a joy. A little complicated to transform, but once you get it right, he looks a heck of a lot better. Of course, he's not hollow, he's solid. He turns into a tank, something like from Metal Slug, but you know, that's just how he looks. And um, yeah, this is my favorite Impactor. So these are a few Impactors that we had. Now let's talk about this figure. So this figure has that gold, GPS looking plastic and it's very dull in a sense. And when we get to the psychedelic pictures, this way you can really see it and it's it's decent, you know, enough to do a video for. Yeah, sure, why not? And the tank mode is the same. So we're not getting anything substantially different other than a retooled chest and remolded head and a new color scheme, which is not impactorish. But this guy, I'm sure if you're into the fossilizers, it's something that you want. Um, although you can't really spot them out in the background, you can see a better picture of them here. And this might be the first one I own because after I go for this video, I'm going straight to pre-order him. Um, definitely want to, I'm into the set. And then of course, here's a picture of the, you know, Spinosaurus mode, I guess. You know, it's cool. I mean, you into that. I mean, I'm not complaining. That's just something you into, you're into. And here's another clearer picture of him, along with the vehicle mode of uh, the new molding, remolding impactor. So all of these are going to come with a set of five boxes. This is one of them. The other one I'm sure is going to be the twin twist and top spin if they're doing it that way. Um, we're also supposed to get Springer. Um, I think we're going to get Leadfoot, supposedly a bulkhead redeco, and they're saying something about Fractal. So I'm looking out, even though I want twin twist and top spin to have the original, um, uh, Titans Return, but I want to see what they do for Springer because I know a lot of people didn't like Springer. There's a way to get rid of that battle damage, just use 70% alcohol in the paint 
that surface paint that they use to make the you know battle damage will come off and give you a much clearer uh, springer. But other than that, you want to see the rest that are coming out. They have the record symbol on them, which is a plus. Last I say, the last time we got this was during Fall of Cybertron. So yeah, I mean, I'm thinking I'm looking forward to this. Even though, again, it's just more of the same from before. At least they're giving us a little bit different. So, again, it's the Super Robot Ed. We'll see you soon. More news coming. Bye-bye.